Sign Easy Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Sign Easy. Sign Easy is an electronic signature platform that helps individuals and businesses to get their documents signed quickly, securely, and legally. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of Sign Easy and walk you through how to use it effectively. We will show you how to create an account and understand the features and functionalities of SignEasy. We will also demonstrate how to sign a document in SignEasy. Additionally, we will show you how to integrate it with other platforms. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using SignEasy, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the free trial button at the top right corner of the screen and click on it. You can sign up with your Google account, Microsoft account, or with your work email. Choose the method that best suits your requirements. After choosing your sign up method, you'll be asked to provide further information to personalize your account. Once you've filled this out, you'll be taken to your brand new SignEasy account dashboard. The dashboard is essentially the command center of your SignEasy account. Here, you will find access to all the features and functionalities provided by SignEasy. On the left side of the dashboard, there is a panel with various options. The dashboard to the left side houses various features. The Send for Signature option allows you to dispatch a document to others for their signature. Needs Your Action is where you will find documents requiring your attention, such as those awaiting your signature. Conversely, Waiting for Others is where you can monitor documents that are pending signatures from other parties. The completed section serves as a centralized repository for all your documents that have successfully undergone the signing and finalization process. Once a signature request is fulfilled, the document is promptly moved and stored in this section for easy access. On the other hand, if a signature request remains unattended and expires within the designated time frame, it will automatically be transferred to the lapsed section. This helps you keep track of any documents that require attention or follow-up. For a more comprehensive overview of your documents, regardless of their status, you can conveniently navigate to the All Documents section. This ensures that you have a holistic view of all your important files, making it easier to manage and organize your document workflow effectively. The Drafts section is dedicated to holding documents that you have started but haven't completed yet. It provides you with a convenient space to save your work in progress, allowing you to easily pick up where you left off. If you're seeking quick and effortless document creation, the Templates section is the perfect destination for you. Here, you can explore a variety of pre-made document templates designed to suit different purposes and needs. These templates are ready to be customized, saving you valuable time and effort. For managing and storing original documents that don't require any signatures, the Originals section is specifically designed to meet your needs. This section ensures that your important documents are kept organized and easily accessible whenever you need them. Finally, the Reports feature enables you to generate and view reports on your document traffic, providing you with essential insights and analytics. Besides the left menu, on the top right side of the dashboard there are additional options like Teams, Integrations, Share, Help, and the Account section. These options provide additional functionality and assistance to ensure a seamless and efficient signing process. Now, let's see how to sign documents in SignEasy. Signing a document in SignEasy is a streamlined process that can be accomplished in just a few steps. To start, navigate to the top menu and click on the drop-down button located next to the Send for Signature option. Upon clicking, you'll notice two options materialize, Sign Document and Send for Signature. While Sign Document implies you are the sole signer, the Send for Signature option is chosen when the document requires signatures from multiple parties. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will proceed with the Sign Document option. Once the Sign Document has been selected, a pop-up window appears, directing you to select the document you wish to sign from your computer. After uploading the document, you will be directed to the editor to commence the signing process. This editor is equipped with multiple options on the left side, such as fields for text, signatures, initials, date, name, email, and image. As the objective is to sign the document, 
we will require the signature field. Click on the signature option and drag it onto the document in the desired location. A pop-up window will subsequently appear with multiple options to input a signature. You have four signature input options, draw, type, upload, and saved. The draw option is particularly convenient if you are using a phone, enabling you to sketch out your signature directly on the screen. Alternatively, the type option allows you to simply type your signature. The upload feature is useful if you have a pre-existing image of your signature stored on your computer, but remember this must be a PNG file. Lastly, the saved option allows you to use a signature you have previously created and saved to your SignEasy account. Choose the method that best suits your needs and proceed to apply your signature to the document. In this tutorial, we will opt for the type option and input the name Emma Smith. As you type, a number of signature styles will appear, offering you a bountiful selection to choose from. We like the last signature, so we will click on it and then click on the Use button to apply this signature to the document. After the signature is added, you can easily move it to any desired location on the document. After finalizing the placement, save the document by navigating to the top right corner of the editor and selecting the Finish Signing button. This action securely adds the signature to the document. To download the signed document, just click on the Download button located at the top right corner of the screen, and your signed document will be instantly downloaded. Next, let's see how to integrate SignEasy with other platforms. The integration of SignEasy with other platforms is a strategic move to foster productivity and efficiency for users. Notably, it brings together different digital tools under one roof, creating an interconnected ecosystem that allows you to execute multiple tasks seamlessly. This integration equips users with the ability to sign documents digitally within the platforms they are already familiar and comfortable with, reducing the need for switching between multiple applications thus saving time and improving workflow efficiency. To integrate SignEasy with other platforms, you will need to navigate the user dashboard's top right corner and click the Integrations option. This action will direct you to the Integrations page, where you will find a categorized list of all potential integrations. To integrate your SignEasy account with any of the listed platforms, locate the desired platform and click on the Try Now button beneath it. Follow the ensuing instructions to successfully link your SignEasy account with the chosen platform, thus enhancing your document signing process's fluidity and convenience. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using SignEasy. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take